For today's wash and go, we are starting in the shower. I decided to style my wash and go in the shower because the last time I used these products, it was very flaky. So come along with me as I shampoo, condition, and use these styling products on soaking wet hair. Now we're gonna wet spa. I'm gonna finish my shower and I'll be back. Hi, I'm back from the shower, as you saw. I washed my hair with the Curl Smith Frizz Recipe Collection and as you can see, I left in the conditioner in the shower and I applied the gel right on top. I did not apply a lot of gel in each section because as you already saw, it was a really flaky wash and go. Even though my curls looked pretty good, it was a lot of flakes in that wash and go and I was trying to not get that again. I have been wet plotting my hair for a little while since I showed you in the shower and I'm gonna take it down now and diffuse it. I want to get this wash and go dry to see how it dries now to see if there's any difference from what I did the first time. I'm gonna speed through the diffusing just because it's loud. Today I'm using my Babyliss Pro. This is my old blow dryer from forever. I cannot find the diffuser part of my Dyson right now and I don't feel like searching for it. So I'm just gonna use this. I have this t-shirt around my neck because my hair was dripping, it was pretty wet and it probably still is, so let me just take that down. And we're gonna do the hovering motion with the diffuser first to, look at all this. So I'm gonna hover with the diffuser first. I'm gonna put it on high speed, but the, I'm gonna put it on the highest speed, but the second heat, not the highest heat. Finally done diffusing. It's been a while. I was just doing it while I was doing stuff on my phone. There's a little bit of areas that are still a little wet, but I just want to see how it turned out with the flaking. So I'm going to come a little closer. All right, so let's look. It's definitely less flaking, but I do see some stuff falling. 
Let me get my little mirror. It's not fully dry, but it's almost there. I'm not gonna just use it any longer. Definitely less flaking this time, so that's a plus. It's less, it feels like it's a less of a hold in the back. I really didn't wanna put a lot because I did not wanna get the flaking again, so I tried to be as light-handed as possible with still giving hold. This front area didn't do so well. That's why it was like the most. The curls look really good so far. I'm gonna give it a little more time for it to dry and then I'll be back to let you know. Hi, I'm back. It is the next day. We'll say 24 to 30 hours since I did my hair. And I just wanna show you how it's looking. This is how it looks. Because I didn't add as much product, it does feel like it's drying out a bit and my ends are not very moisturized and I do see flaking. I put on a black shirt so I can see it better, but there is flaking, not as much as the first time, but there still is flaking with this product. Unfortunately, this product did not work out for me totally. My curls look okay, but without adding as much as I did the first time, they don't look as nice. I'm still getting flakes either way. My review for this line is that I think it smelled great. I really did like that multi-use conditioner that it could be a leave-in or a washout. It was great for me because I felt that it really got my tangles out and my hair was tangled when I used it. The shampoo I did like also. The gel, it's flaking on me so I can't say that I like it. It felt good going on, it felt fine like that, but it's flaking. A lot of gels and stuff have been flaking for me recently, so I don't know if it's me or the gel, but I have seen other people use the gels that I complain about and say the same thing. This is a new product, so I have not seen any reviews on it yet. I'll check it out and see if people are receiving flakes as well, but that's my experience with this. I'm gonna quickly put this finishing serum on. So this is it. It's like a wet consistency. It says works best when applied on dry hair. A little goes a long way. It says a dime size amount. I use more than that, but we're just gonna put it in my whole hair, especially the ends, and we'll see what happens. It feels a little sticky and almost like a lighter Vaseline kind of feeling. I don't think it's gonna do a big difference. So that's that. Do I recommend these products? For the smell, yes. If your hair never flakes with gel, go ahead and try it. But for me, I can't use as much as I need to because I'm getting flakes either way and now my hair is kind of dry.